Hello, welcome to the Narrow Voice Christ for All Nations and Brothers and TV. You're welcome to today's meeting. It's my prayer that as we hear the word of God today, the power of the living God will set us free from every kind of bondage, especially deception. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for being there for us. Thank you because you are exposing the works of darkness. Now, Lord, we ask that you speak to us. Speak your word to us. As your word comes out with power, let it break every yoke. Let it destroy satanic chains. Let it expose every darkness in our lives. Let it set your children free, O oh Lord God. Your word breaks rocks into pieces. Let it break every stony heart. Draw your children closer to yourself, O oh Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Please share and subscribe to this channel. Share this video, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. Hosanna E. E. David. Please, I will appreciate it if you recommend this channel to other people so that more people can hear the truth. I sincerely appreciate those who have been supporting this ministry in one way or the other, sharing our videos and supporting us financially. May the Lord God Almighty bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. So today we are talking about the depth of satanic deception. The depth of satanic deception. Deception is very, very deep. A lot of people think that it is a very small thing. It is very, very light. They can just, with their own wisdom, figure out what deception is. No. A lot of people have been scammed millions of dollars. A lot of people have lost their lives. A lot of people have lost their livelihood. A lot of people have lost their faith in Christ because of satanic deception. And we don't need to treat this topic with unseriousness. Last week I talked about the same thing, deception. And this week I really want us to look at or uh, continue with the same topic of deception. This time around I want to elaborate on some things. So let us look at the Word of God. If you have not watched last week's video, in case you have not watched it, please, I will appreciate it if you watch it. So let's look at, uh, before we read this, uh, let us look at the things I really want to talk about today. I want to talk about Lucifer deception campaign, deceptive campaign, Lucifer deceptive campaign in heaven, deception of Adam and Eve deception and corruption of the human race in the days of Noah and afterwards. Deception of Israel to disbelieve Jesus Christ. Modern deception, the Antichrist deception, post millennial reign deception. These are the things I want us to look about, to look at briefly. So let's read the test for today. And as we read the test, we will also consider, we are equally considering the first one, Lucifer deceptive campaign in heaven. Ezekiel 28, 11 to 19. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lament upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest of the sum, full of wisdom. This is the description of Lucifer when he was in heaven. This is not a, a literal Tyrus. This is not a literal human being. This is Lucifer when he was in heaven. So have this understanding at the back of your mind as we read. Thou sealest up the sun, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the berry, the onyx, 
the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tablet and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub. So you can see very clearly that this is not about a human being like you and I. He was an anointed cherub that covereth. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. And I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in the day from thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. So this is about Lucifer. Let's continue verse 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, I want you to pay very close attention to this verse 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, this is what Satan was actually doing in heaven. He carried out a campaign. He was into merchandise. They have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. This was his judgment. 17. Thine, thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason, by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before king, before kings, that they may behold thee. Thou hast defied, look at verse 18 again. Thou hast defied thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine sin, thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. This traffic is translated uh, in different ways. One of which is actually one of which is actually trade. It was into trading. Therefore, I will bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It, should, it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to the ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never shalt thou be any more. This is what Satan was doing. Satan was into trafficking. He was into different kinds of trade. He is trading right now in the world and he is trading for the souls of human beings. We should understand his antics. How he deceived people in heaven satan there was no satan in heaven anyway he was lucifer so he was carrying out trade in heaven what kind of trade what kind of traffic he was convincing the angels of god in heaven if you can follow me this is what i'm going to do for you if you can follow me and agree with my government i will promote you forget about god God is that, God is this. He wanted to be like the Most High. And do you know that Satan was able to deceive one third of the stars of heaven? He was able to deceive one third of the stars of heaven. Genesis, um, Revelation chapter 12, verse 4 says, okay, let me read from verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head, and his tail 
drew to the drew the third parts of the stars of heaven and he cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour a child as soon as it was born this is satan in heaven his tail drew one third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth these stars are not just ordinary stars the one we see in the in the clouds in the sky above these are angels the fallen angels some of which actually slept with the daughters of men in genesis chapter 6 and corrupted the human race now let me ask you a question if angels who have beheld the glory of god angels who walked upon the mountain of god upon the stones of fire if Lucifer could deceive them and they lost their place of glory forever in heaven and we are cast down to the earth, do you think that the deception of Satan is light? This is deep. Some of us don't even know the kind of enemy we are dealing with. He is called the arch enemy. He is the enemy of God. He is the wisest of all the animals that God created. Some of us don't know that he lives in this world. He moves to and fro. Satan is not yet in hell. He is not yet in the lake of fire. He has not been bound. He is not bound yet. He lives in this world with us. He has just one business. To stop as many as possible from going to heaven. To deceive as many as possible. If angels who have beheld the glory of God, who knew the loss of God, who have lived, we don't even know how many thousands of years, these angels, maybe millions of years, they lived before Satan deceived them. Do you think Satan deceived them the very week they were created? No. Lucifer did not deceive them. Immediately they were created. This is why their punishment is great, because they knew the truth. They knew how God operates. And now they are on earth. They are angry, very, very angry with humanity, and they don't want anybody to make it. This is why we need to be careful. We need to be very, very careful. Let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall, because the enemy, Satan the devil, has been driven down to us. He's having a great wrath because he knows that his time is short. This is how these people were deceived in heaven. Then let us also talk about the deception of Adam and Eve, which I talked about last week. Deception of Adam and Eve. These people were actually, they could, God would come, come down in the cool of the day and commune with them. They had a fellowship with God. It wasn't the day they heard the footsteps of God walking in the garden that they experienced God coming down. It wasn't the first time. That was why when they heard God, they knew that this is God. Oh, it is time for fellowship. And they ran and hid themselves. They made aprons of fig leaves and covered themselves. If Satan could deceive Adam and Eve, do you think that we should just believe in without being careful in this world? Some of us actually, a lot of people think that we are here to live. We are not here to live. We are just passing through. We will die one day. Jesus could come and take us home or we will all die and meet him this world is not our home we are passing through let's also remember the deception and the corruption of the human race in genesis chapter 6. the bible says that the whole earth was corrupt the fallen angels deceived the daughters of men and slept with them and they gave birth to people who were not having the 
complete DNA that a human being is supposed to have. And some of them were giants. Even after those days, sexual relations with these fallen angels are took place. I don't want to dwell on that. That was how God decided to destroy the whole of the human race. The whole humans on earth except Noah, his wife, three sons, and their wives. Only eight people survived. Eight people survived. Only the family of Noah. Then again, there was the deception in the time of Jesus Christ. Imagine Jesus Christ coming down in person and performing so much miracles, signs and waters, working on water, multiplying food, five loaves of bread, feeding thousands, and raising Lazarus up even, if, even though he was dead for four days and was already buried. Satan had in the hearts of these people. Many of the religious leaders refused to believe in Jesus Christ. This is how deep the deception of Satan can be. Even though he died, even though the people he performed miracles upon, the creepers that were lame from their mother's womb, blind, deaf, these people received their wholeness and they were living among the Jews. They were living among them. They were living with those people, including Lazarus, who was dead, came back to life. Many of these Jews visited him. Oh, I will go and see. Let me go and see if it is true or not. I want to hear from Lazarus. I want to see his body. I want to see the grave clothes. A lot of people went, yet they never believed in him. Many of the religious leaders Many of the religious leaders were angry with Jesus Christ. They ended up killing him. Even though he died, even though they secured the grave very, very well. Even though some of them checked to see whether he really died and they buried him. Do you know that even after his resurrection, they still disbelieved Jesus Christ? Now let's look at what Jesus Christ said. Um, this is the, the Gospel of John. In, Matthew, in John chapter 5, verse 43, Jesus Christ said, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye shall receive. Now let me tell you something. Do you know that a lot of the Jews believe that they can pray in a mosque? than in a church building. I have a video with me. They said, no, they can pray in a Christian church. They can pray in a mosque because Muslims believe in one God, but Christians believe that Jesus Christ is God. But these people have the Old Testament to read that unto us a child is born. It shall be called everlasting father the mighty God, a child that will be born, will be called the mighty God, the everlasting Father, that his kingdom will have no end. So they, they, they studied the scriptures, but they, they never understood what they were reading. Even those who understood, because of their wickedness and the level of deception, they refused to believe in Jesus Christ. Now look at what John said. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. John 1, 11. His own, his very own, refused to receive him. They did not receive him. Now, let's talk about the deception of the early church. The early church was facing a lot of persecution. And when Emperor Constantine repented when he according to him he saw a sign that by this sign you shall conquer and he went to war and became victorious and he decided to become a christian 
that was a day a lot of idols were were brought into the church some of these uh, images you see in the Roman Catholic Church they tell you this is Saint this this is Saint Peter many of them are not actually saints they were they are idols that were renamed like Mary Mary the Queen of Heaven is actually Asteroid that's not a Mary in the Bible Roman Catholics I actually deceived they should go into research. I don't like people when they argue blindly. Do you know that if you are a Roman Catholic and you're watching this video, or you know a Roman Catholic, ask them that, what is the Jesuit? The Society of Jesus. It is a secret society. Headed by the Superior General. Uh, he is called the black pope many of them don't even know that there is an office that exists in the roman catholic church that is called the black pope and he is the most powerful man in the world according to those who have done research and have come up with the whole world we see is divided into 10 provinces they are in charge when you talk about deep state you talk about these people they are in charge of the whole world they are running the world they run the illuminati they run everything in the world deception is so deep deception is not light it is very 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 deep and a lot of people are falling prey for these deceptive things the church welcome many idols and the church that's supposed to preach repentance started killing the saints and the roman empire that was merged with the church was using the church for campaign to expand their empire and a lot of people died remember martin luther how he fought for the church how he nailed his thesis to the door of the church and carried out his packed fire that is still burning in the church till now unfortunately uh all those who came out as protestants a lot of people have stopped protesting i i laugh when i see people men of god taking pictures with the pope and i ask myself are we still protesting? Are we still protestants? A lot of people have forgotten about history. The Pope is not a Christian. I've never seen a Pope that is a Christian. And there can be no Pope that is a Christian. Because they don't believe in, in Jesus Christ. They don't believe what we believe. Roman Catholics, study your faith. They don't share the same faith with us. In fact, Catholicism is not Christianity. Catholicism, they believe, according to them, they believe that if you are not a Roman Catholic, you will not go into heaven. Let's move on. This is what Jesus Christ said. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think. Those who kill you, they will think. You. Sorry. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth. You do it, God's service. Yeah. The church that's supposed to preach salvation conscripted a lot of idols into the church. And if you don't agree with them, you die. That was how a lot of Christians fled the Roman Empire. Today, those who fled are going back. 
to the very things that we protested against. Now let's talk about modern deception. I have two scriptures. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and they shall shew great signs and wonders in so much that if they were if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If it were possible, they will deceive the very elect. Second Timothy chapter 4, 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. This is the time we are living in right now. Now, only a few people want to hear the truth. Most of most Christians have turned their ears to listening and believing in lies and lies only. So much deception in our time. Now let's talk about the Antichrist. The Antichrist, the Bible says, shall deceive every one on earth. He shall deceive. Look at verse 14. And deceive and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of these miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Now, he shall deceive as many as he can. Look at verse 16. This is John 13, um, Revelation 13, 16. And he cursed all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is how deep deception is. They received the marks because of deception. This was even after the rapture. These people saw the rapture. The seven years that will precede the rapture, the Antichrist is going to deceive most humans on earth. Deception is very, very great. Then I talked about this also last week. I talked about um, post-millennial post -millennial reign deception. After the reign of Christ, for 1,000 years on earth. Satan is going to be set loose again. And he will deceive millions, billions of people. And the Bible says, look at verse 8, And he shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 8. Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Billions of people he is going to deceive. Are you in the faith or you have been deceived? Let's look at the scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 11 and 12. Now all these happened, all these things happened unto therefore an examples and they are written for our admonition for your admonition for my admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wherefore let him that thinketh he is standard take he lest he fall if you think you stand if you think you were standing firm please be careful, lest you fall. Next week, we're going to consider another topic. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel and share our videos. Please like. If you like and you comment, you will help the video to do well so that YouTube and Facebook will some recommend this video to other people. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for exposing the truth to us. We speak this word 
into every individual life, the word of life that giveth life. Lord, may this word destroy every darkness in the hearts of your children. May the power of the Lord set you free. If you were facing any kind of deception, may the power of the Lord set you free. Be free from that deception in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive power to forge your head. Receive power to live a holy life. Those who are facing one problem or the other, may the Lord God Almighty stamp into that situation and take away that challenge. Receive solution, receive healing in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I pray for us many that have been supporting this ministry. Father, support them. Open the windows of heaven and release your blessings upon their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, guide us in the faith. Guide us by the truth. Help us to overcome every kind of deception. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. Those of you who have been supporting this ministry, I sincerely appreciate you. Our account details are in the description box and on the screen. Please continue to support us. Uh, we can't do it without money. Uh, I don't preach money. This is, these account details are just out there for you if the Lord lays it in your heart to support so that you can support. And I sincerely appreciate as many who have been supporting us. Not many people give to teaching and the ministry, teaching ministries and the ministries that actually preach the truth. They believe that somebody should pray fire for them and cast out all their enemies and then give them prophecies before they can give. But this is what the Lord has called me into. Even though I have prophetic gifts, they are not to make money. They are for free. And I have never asked anybody since the Lord called me for over 10 years. I've been a pastor. I've never asked anybody to sow into my life or even sow into, if so, you sow into my ministry. I've never said it any day. I only encourage people to give and I allow the Holy Spirit to lead them to give, to touch them to give. Uh, you can preach money and preach the truth at the same time. You can serve the God of Mammon, the God of Mammon, and the God of Truth at the same time. Please, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, Hosanna E. E. David. Don't forget to share our videos. As you share our videos, more people will be exposed to the truth that has the power to transform them. Thank you, those of you who have been sharing our videos. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. Please subscribe to this channel before you go in case you have not subscribed and turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first to receive uh, alerts whenever we post any video. May the Lord God Almighty bless you and keep you till He returns to take us home. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.